Okay, James. Mm. I'm going to teach you what a current limiting resistor is. Okay. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Chuck the LED at me. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> Put that on the bloopers. <laughs> Here's your LED. And chucks it at him. Okay, so this, if we if we if we put this one directly onto the battery, that's nine volts. That's the battery power. Um, and like I showed you inside the alley, there's tiny little yeah. little hair. Yeah. If that doesn't have any resistance on the on the voltage, yeah, sure. Sure. it's like it's like the tap turned up full blast. Mm, yeah. And that little hair can't handle that that voltage. So let's plug that in. So the short lead is the plus and the long lead is the minus. Doesn't work. So that's probably dead. Daddy just blew it up because it's too much yeah. voltage. So you can't do that. You can't just plug an LED straight into nine volts, otherwise it blows up. That's why we need a resistor. So the resistor mm -hmm. is like the tap, turning the tap down. Thanks for that, James. So that didn't really show them much what was going on. I might just do that one again. So if we plug that in like this, oh, that way, long, long lead is the plus, short lead is the minus, plug it on, it doesn't even flash. That's really interesting, it actually blows so quickly it doesn't even flash. But that's gone now, it won't work. Okay. So let's get some alligator clips, and, and, and I've already alligators. got... Alligators! Well, in Australia we say crocodile clips, but I hear, alligator, I hear the word alligator clips so often because you know alligators are everywhere else in the world, but we have crocodiles. Mm -hmm. We say sometimes we say crocodile clips here. Oh. So I'm going to go plus into the resistor. So that's like turning the tap down the resistor, and then the LED. So we're going to go plus. So plus goes onto the long lead. Ah, <laughs> fell off. This is quite tricky trying to do this in front of the camera. Plus goes onto the long and yeah. teach you at the same time. Tony's so got his hands full. And then whack that one onto there like that, and then there you go. It lights up, very dim, but it lights up. You can see it, see that? Look at that, when you put it yeah. straight on, the lens is pointing straight into the, the lens of the LED point. You know how it's got a little lens yeah. on the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pointing into the, out, into the camera lens, that's why it looks so bright. So, the thing is, with the resistor, James, you know how there's some that are yeah. higher and some that are lower, yeah. the value? Mm -hmm. It's like turning the tap on more and less. Yeah. What some pedal builders do, and let me just get a pedal, is they put on the front of the pedal, they accidentally put a value that's too low, like 500 ohms or less, and that's, that's low. Yeah, trust me, it's low. Um, so when they're on stage and they go, all right, and they're playing their, they're playing their music, and they go, all right, da -da -da -da, yep, yeah, all right, now the heavy bit, all right, let's hit the distortion, bang. It's so bright. Bang, gets them in the eyes. It's like, whoa, I can't even see what I'm doing now. Yeah. So that's why it's important to use the right LED, uh, sorry, the right resistor size. And the more you go up, the brighter it gets and the, and the lower it gets. Okay, guys, just showing James this. Mm -hmm. We've replaced the resistor with a potentiometer. And um, I'm just going to show him what a potentiometer does. So, poten potentiometer is like yeah. a resistor mm -hmm. yeah. that you change the resistance of when you turn it, right? And at the moment it's on max. Yeah. So if I turn that, turn the turn the potentiometer, you can see that the LED is getting brighter. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Yes, you can. It's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And watch. Oh, look how bright it is. Oh, what happened? Mm. Can you hear that click? Yeah. That's the power supply. It's cracking it. It's going. Whoa! Too much current. You're pulling too much power. Yeah, it goes, whoa, that's enough. goes, hang on, too much. Why, why do you think it's doing that for, James? Because um, there's too much voltage. Why is there too much voltage? Because it's doing it so, the light so high. That's right. The, resist, the potentiometer is right at the end of the dial where there's no resistance. There's, there's almost no resistance. And this power supply has got a mechanism in it where if you, if you try and pull too much power out of it, there's a safety relay in it and it goes click and it turns it off and it goes, whoa, you're gonna damage, you're gonna damage something, what are you doing? And it switches it off. Mm. Yeah, so that's why if you use a potentiometer or a trim pot with an LED to, to adjust the brightness, you actually need to have a resistor as well because then the resistor will stop it from hitting that, that no resistance and blowing the LED because otherwise you just blow the LED. Yeah. 
That might be a little bit complicated for you, but hopefully the guys in the video understood what I was talking about. So did you find that interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, you like science and stuff, I thought yeah. you might find this interesting as well. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah. Quite good. good. Alright, well that's it now. Now, now we're done. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. See ya. Have a good day. Thumbs up. James is getting bigger. Turning into a big boy. Was that a whistle? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Keep practicing. Ow. You'll get it. Um, You'll get it one day. You gotta keep practicing, mate. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Gonna hit the record button there, James. Hit the button. See you, dudes. <laughs> hit it. Well, look out. <laughs>